Salutations, internet peeps! My name is Fluid Destiny, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. On the last episode, we defeated the uh, Motostoke Gym, we defeated Kabu. It took a little longer, uh, the episode took a little longer than I had hoped, but we got it done. We were able to defeat the gym, we were able to, um, I wouldn't, not evolve Pokemon, we were able to um, level up Pokemon. We're able to get new Pokemon, which is exciting. Speaking of new Pokemon, um, I decided to do my Pokemon. I decided to change my Pokemon lineup. So as you can see, I took out um, I took out Bolton and I took out uh, Bar Barascuda. I was like Barracuda. No, Barascuda. I took them out for Sizzlipede and Noibat, mostly because I want their evolutions. And the, and I decided to take Eevee back. Wait, that means I took out three Pokemon. No, 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 because Eevee. Um, I decided to take Eevee back. Or the reason why I say that is because I put Eevee inside my um, PC for a bit while I was out training. But the coolest thing happened. So I went to take back my Pokemon from the Poke Jobs, right? And one of them so happened to bring back, of all things, a water stone, right? What are the odds of that? I wish I had recorded my reaction, but basically I was just super excited because it was, it was like it was like even a rock Pokemon too who gave me back a water stone. Like, what are the freaking odds of that, man? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level Eevee up to 30 before I cha um, evolve him to Vaporeon. And I also found out that Toxel does indeed level up at level 30. Which uh, I ended up having to look that up, but I did it in a way so as to I don't so as to not spoil myself with what his evolution looks like. Hopefully this late this um Pokemon lineup works because I was trying to evolve a little bit here, and the first Pokemon who pops up was Garbodor, and it was like six levels above my- no, five levels above my highest, actually. And I want to say like po uh, two people. Two people fainted, but... Whoa. <gasps> Whoa! Lipard. I have a Purloin, so it shouldn't be too bad. But anyways, two Pokemon fainted, which isn't too bad, but we almost had a third one that fainted, which is bad. <gasps> I see you. I want you. Come here. Be my friend. What's your name again? Vanille or something? I don't think it's Vanille. I'm pretty sure that's a character from Final Fantasy. Vanillite. That's what it is. Oh no, this is the wrong one. It's Hailing? Come on, man. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Let's go Pluck. It's not gonna be very effective that much, I know. Oh, I guess it is. Avalanche! Oh no, Corvus! Ah! Oh no! We are off to a bad start, everyone. Okay, I think. Oh, please, 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 please! I don't want Toxel. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, I was one of those like lucky ones too. Yay! We did it! We did it! We did it! Sweet. Whew, man, that was a close one. Got so scared. Okay, Vanillite. Um, the fresh snow Pokemon. Unable to survive in hot areas, it makes itself comfortable by breathing out air cold enough to cause snow. Huh. It burrows into the snow to sleep. Oh, that is so cute. We'll send you to a box for now. You're cute when you're like that, but I don't really care for your, your evolved forms, unfortunately. We need to go over here because Corviscore cannot last. Corvuscar won't be able to battle Pokemon if they're all ice types and it's hailing, which sucks. You are. You'll be amazed after crossing the bridge. What's so amazing? The Pokemon that live on the other side, they're so strong. Aw, oh, damn it. You probably won't be able to catch them unless you have several gym badges, though. I have some. So I'm guessing that's, um, what is it called? That's the next area I have to get to, which is Hammerlock? Yeah. Motostoke River, Ooh, it's a Snorlax. Something sounds cute. Oh, oh, it's a cutie fly. Do I have one? I don't. Sneasel? 
Cutie fly and Sneasel? Oh, I want both of them. All right. I will be right back, everyone. Uh, Cutie fly. The bee fly Pokemon. Nectar and pollen are its favorite fare. You can find Cutie fly hovering around Gossifleur, trying to get some of Gossifleur's pollen. Aww. That's so cute. Oh, it's only four inches high. Oh, that is so cute. It's like around there, right? Oh my god, it could fit in my hand. That's adorable. It's so cute. Man, I'm so happy. I'm glad I have one. What is your ability, though? Honey. Oh, you're a honey gatherer. No way. Nice. I have Now I have two that do that. Um, this one on Combi. We'll send you to a box. I know you're a fairy type, but I don't think I need fairy types yet. Purloin. Uh, I'm gonna catch the Sneasel and then we'll continue on. Alright, Sneasel, the Sharp Claw Pokemon. Its paws conceal sharp claws. If attacked, it suddenly extends the claws and start startles its enemy. Wait, what? Though are you- do, are you- are you telling me those white things aren't claws, but paws? What? Is that- is that right? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Unless its paws are under the claws? I don't know what is happening. <laughs> Sneeza, why? Uh, Sneeza, what's your ability? You have keen eye. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, oh shoot, I actually don't remember- I didn't even check if mine's male or female. Cause I know their appearance changes based on gender. And I want to say only males are weaviles, but no, I think a female can also become a weavile. But anyways, I'm going to continue on exploring this, most likely I, I, most likely on my own. And the reason why I say most likely, because it depends on how Future Me edits this. But I'm going to go ahead and travel on my own a little bit. If nothing interesting happens, then I'll see you guys at Hammerlock. <gasps> Big Snorlax, goodbye. I don't want to mess with you, right? Oh, cute. <gasps> oh, that's the evolved form of cutie fly. Ooh, do I want it? No, I'll just evolve my cutie fly. It's all good. Oh, whoa. Oh, man, he's a lot bigger in person. That is so cool and also so creepy at the same time. I'm just going to go up here. Hopefully I find something, but probably not. <gasps> Ooh, I do. Sweet. There's Bonzor in there. I want them. They're pretty cool. What's over there? What's- Yo! What are you? Oh no! Whoa, what was that? Don't tell me that's the evolved form of that wimp thingy. Oh my god, it is. I have a- I- What is it called? Like a wimp bug or something? I have one of those. Dang, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. What are you in the grass, though? Oh, you're a Toxel. Okay, you're fine. I have one already. I'm gonna capture this real quick, though. Bronzor, the bronze Pokemon. It appears in ancient ruins. The pattern on its body doesn't come from any culture in the Gala region, but it remains... It remain, so it remains shrouded in mystery. What? Isn't it because it's from the Hoenn region? No. Is it Hoenn? Or is it Sinnoh? Oh, I can't remember. We'll send you to- Oh, actually, what's your ability? I like checking their abilities. The heatproof body of the Pokemon has damage from fire-type moves that hit it. So they become normally effective? Instead of super effective? Because that's what it sounds like to me. Oh my god, it's a Linoon! Go away! Ah! <laughs> so scary! Stop it! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> oh jeez, no! Ooh! I just realized the music changed. Mmm, listen to those bagpipes. Majestic. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> Pokeball. Yay! Uh, we are trying to avoid all of the Pokemon because we don't need you right now. Oh, shiny. Sweet, I got a revive. And you are. I really have a water stone! But I mean, I guess. This is just as exciting. <laughs> now I got two water stones. Heck yeah! Ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah. I don't know why having the Pokemon in the water. <gasps> Noivern! Oh, heck yeah! This is why I want to evolve my Noivat. Noivern looks so cool, and I just found out it's part Dragon type, which I totally forgot. But it's just as exciting. Tiny mushroom. Dude, man, this is so cool. <gasps> Tiny house. 
I'm going to the tiny house, but first, who are you? Hey there! I found a bit of a rare item here in the wild area. You want it? Only a hundred watts. Well, lucky you. I didn't even know I had a thousand. I want it. Please be worth it. That's not too bad, actually. I'll take it. A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon a small amount of experience points. You enjoying the wild area? You know some items are easiest to get through max raid battles, right? I would love to do raid battles, but um, I can't do them by myself, and I know there are people who would want to join me. Oh, dude, it's- oh shoot, it's that thing. Do I want it? I mean, it is a new Pokemon. You know what? Why not? Let's try and get it. I know there are people who have said that they would join me with raid battles, but I don't have the online capabilities right now. So it's fine, but I appreciate you guys for offering your help. We'll switch to Toxel. Why not? Toxel's gonna level up soon anyways. I'm just gonna use it for Nuzzle. Hopefully that'll help out. Stop that! You're lucky I don't- Oh, it's not very effective. Oh yeah, because it's part, um... It's part electric. Nuzzle... Fury attack? You leave my baby Toxel alone. He's gonna evolve soon. Stop it! Baby Boo! Okay, that's good, that's good. That's it, I knew you could do it. That's right, I knew you could do it, Toxel. Um, first things first, I want to... Should I change you for someone else? I'll change you for... I'll change you for Eevee, because I need to level him up anyways. I just don't want Toxel to faint when it's so close to evolving. That would suck. Yes, you're so cute. Stop that, man! Oh my god! Let's go ahead and use... We'll just use a normal Pokeball. Hopefully it's gonna be... Enough. Come on, 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 come on. <sighs> Alright, Toxel and Noibat both leveled up. Good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Toxel should, like, if I read it correctly, Toxel should be leveling up. Or evolving, excuse me. There we go! Okay, I still don't know what his evolved form looks like. I just know it's called something like Toxicity, something like that. Yes! Rock on, my dude! Yes, I love it. Oh, it's Toxtricity. Got you. Yes. I love it. <laughs> Um, Toxtricity, the punk Pokemon. Oh, I see. It's amped form. That's right, it did say it had two forms. I don't know what its other form looks like, though. Um, when this Pokemon- It's a freaking 5'3 also! This thing's almost as tall as I am! When this Pokemon sounds as if it's strumming a guitar, it's actually clawing at the pro protrusions on its chest to generate electricity. Oh, that's interesting. So, I know it has- okay, yes, please. Yes, please. I know it has two forms. I remember reading that as well, and there's a way to get both, but if I don't look it up, can you please uh, tell me how to get both forms? Uh, I would very much appreciate that. Let's take it out for Growl. I don't need Growl. I love it. Uh, spark. Sweet. Nice! Uh, Cramorant. Okay, the gulp Pokemon. Oh. Wait, if it's a gulp Pokemon, doesn't that- does that mean it's gonna learn Stockpile? That's weird. It's so strong that it can knock out some opponents in a single hit. Really? With those eyes? <laughs> oh man. You know what, that's probably why its eyes look like that, because it probably headbutted a little too much, or a little too hard. But also may forget what it's battling- what it's battling mid-fight. Oh, I knew it. It did hit its head too hard. Um, what is your... Ability? Gulp Missile. When the Pokemon uses Surf or Dive, it will come back with Prey. What? When it takes damage, it will spit out the Prey to- Oh, that's right! That's right, I remember that. That was in the trailer. Run! Oh my- oh yeah, that's right, I was supposed to go to the house. I forgot. <laughs> oh, what is that? Whoa, what's that thing? Whoa. I gotta learn Surf soon, right? 
I feel like I have. Whoa. Oh, you're so cute. Inke, come back. Oh, okay, goodbye. All right, what are you? The Pokemon Nursery? We found. You found the right. Another nursery? What are you? Ah, oh, sweet. Huh. So, who are you? So you have a bike, young lady. Well, there's a fantastic little game called the Road Time Rally that I would just love to see you participate in. Ooh, a makeover? Improve my bike? <gasps> Spend my watts? Ooh, what do you have? Uh, dive ball, ton, bug buzz, heavy slam. Hey, look, surf! That's what I was just talking about. Uh, shadow ball! Oh, I really want that. What is this wishing piece? To attract... Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Um, man, I want both Surf and Shadow Ball. For some reason, I'm like a, not too sure why, but I love... Oh, wait. No, I think I know why. I want to say it's Maze Eevee. Maze Eevee knows Shadow Ball from the Pokemon anime. And ever since then, all of my Eevees have to have Shadow Ball. But it looks like I don't have enough for it. That's all good. But I do want a makeover if you're talking about my bike. Want to change the color of your outfit? Uh, Corvus Squire. Flying type color? Rotom colors flying type? Oh, right, let's try. Wait! What happens if I change it to Toxel? So it could be electric, unless they say poison. But I'd rather... Let's try that. Let's see what happens if I do this. Sorry, tox Toxitricity? Um, uh, Toxtricity. Would you like to use one of these colors? We'll try the electric type color. What? Did that? Jolly good? Jolly good indeed. You picked a wonderful color. What happens now? Oh no. I f it had to be yellow. Okay. We're gonna try the dragon type colors from Noibat. Let's see how that goes, because I'm curious. It is. Not bad. I'll keep it. I'm cool with that. But let's switch out Noibat. And then I gotta check out my bike. Can make it charge up with turbo boost. Oh. Ooh. I can make it go faster. Uh. Maybe later when I get more watts. But that's pretty cool. You. Uh. We're just as capable as the nursery on roof 5. Don't worry about a thing. Will you leave? Okay. Got you. So no. We'll just continue on our way. I was hoping to get another Pokemon. Like Toxel, but it's all good, I guess. Whoa, these are pretty cool. What was that sound? Huh? Oh, what's that sound? Uh, there it goes again. <gasps> oh, I know you. I forgot your name. Like, I know it's a ghost and ground type. Goldie or something? Oh, I can't remember. It's been so long since I played. Oh, there it is again. Uh, that's Unova region, right? It's been so long since I played um, Black and White. Oh, there's the evolved form. Oh, I'm almost there. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's Noir. Oh, dude, it's starting to get to like the really uh, scary Pokemon. What's in there? Oh my God, is that Pikachu? Who's chasing me? <gasps> Yamper. Hold on, is that Pikachu? Pikachu, come here! Come here, baby boo. I want you. I want your love. Got him! Finally found you! Oh no. Is it? What is happening? Is it thundering right now? Oh no. Okay. This is not good. We're switching Pokemon. Uh. Oof. Wait, switching to Thwacky. Because it's not very effective. Don't, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, please. Please don't kill it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No! It's okay. There's another one. We'll be fine. Oh, on the right side, too. My Pokemon leveled up. Dude, what the heck, man? Pikachu! Oh good, there's more Pikachus. I'll catch, I'll catch you eventually, Pikachu. At least I know where to find you, which is great. But for now, let's go ahead and evolve. Let's let's take back my Everstone, actually. That's what I need to do. All right, so let's go ahead and use this item. So that way, we got ourselves a Water-type Pokemon. Because we probably need one. Let's do this! How's my equipment, by the way? 
Oh, we're doing good. Yay! Oh, I love it. I love Eevee so much. Alright, so... Let's see, Vaporeon, the bubble jet Pokemon. When Vaporeon's fins begin to vibrate, it is a sign that rain will come within a few hours. Really? Huh, cute. And then it should learn a move. Aurora Beam! Dang! Oh, that's an ice- oops, I hit my desk. That's an ice type move though, but I guess we'll go ahead and get it. I might need an ice type move, so this could be useful. We'll switch it for baby doll eyes. I really wanted to learn a water type, unless it's going to learn a water type move. Sweet. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, yes, forget an old move. I th uh, so let's get rid of... We'll get rid of quick attack. I think that's fine. <laughs> and is that it? Let's, what else? Yeah, that's it. Sweet! And this Vaporeon should know... Its ability should be Water Absorb, I believe. Because it's not... Because apparently, Adaptability is not a... Uh, it's not the hidden move. Yeah, Water Absorb. Alright, alright, alright. Not too bad. So, I'll catch Pikachu later now that I know where they're at. Hopefully I don't regret this later, but let's... Ah, what are you?! What? What the heck is that? Oh, that was the scariest thing I've ever seen. What the heck is that, you guys? It's giving me the it's giving me the chills. Should I defeat it? Hold on. I'm going to save real quick just in case cuz I am terrified right now. Oh, is that what you evolved from? Okay, let's ca let's catch this one. Okay, good. <laughs> Do do pi do pider like do spider? This one is uh, less intimidating. So oh my god, level thirty, just a little bit intimidating. It's not too bad though, dude. You know what that means? Its evolved form is like, ooh, that's not good. Its ev oh, its evolved form is like stronger. So I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad it's using that too because I don't want to kill it. Let's use Power Trip. Power Trip is not that strong from what I remember. Alright, Dewpider. I'm gonna guess it's Dewpider because of Spider. Uh, the Water Bubble Pokemon. It forms a water bubble at the rear of its body and then covers its head with it. Meeting another Dewpider means comparing water bubble sizes. Okay, that's kind of weird. But what abilities and actually what attacks do you have? Water Bubble lowers the power of fire type moves done to the Pokemon and prevents the Pokemon from getting burned. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it knows Headbutt and Crunch, which is pretty good. Uh, I have Vaporeon already, but legit, I might switch out Vaporeon for this one just because of its evolved form. So we'll send you to the box for now, just so I could get some battling experience with a Vaporeon, but freaking gosh, man, it's so terrifying. Like, look at it. Holy cow. Oh, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, what's over there? I need to make my way to... What the heck are those? What the? What is that in the middle? Quagsire? Oh, that's a, that's a Dreadnought, okay. I really love the concept of wild areas, even though it's so terrifying. Okay, we finally made it to the place that we're supposed to go. Oh! Ah, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I want it to, I want it. it's pre-evolution though. That means it's gotta be near here, right? Uh, shoot, I don't see it. Whoa! That is a big tree. Nice. Um, I can't even get to it though. All right, I guess I'll get it. It's called Hone Edge, right? Or is that the no Dual Edge? Hone Edge is the original, is the pre-evolution. Oh my God! Oh, oh, that's so scary. I want it so badly though. Should I capture it? 
let's do that. While I'm capturing it, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode, and I'm and in the next episode, we'll just be right in front of Hammerlock. Hopefully, the place that we went to is Hammerlock. Dual blade. A very strong looking dual blade? Oh, I think I made a mistake. I think I made a- <gasps> Oh my god, mistakes were made. We gotta leave, we gotta leave, we gotta leave, we gotta leave. Oh, okay. Oh, we did it. Alright, forget what I just said, everyone. We are not trying to do that. Oh man, that was terrifying. Is there one here? I want a hone edge, people. There's a lot of water fed, though. Great, so while I slowly make my way there, hopefully, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. Um, I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of what I've been doing here, but right now, me recording, oh man, I would have to be cutting out maybe like, by this point, maybe like 20 minutes worth of gameplay just to make it short enough. Let's see what this guy has to say. And then we'll call it an episode. Ah, oh, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motosto. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh my god, it's Bead. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Dude, you know what? I doubt he will. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, goodbye, Bean. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Did you defeat Motostoke? Oh, okay. Okay, got you. Thank you, Challenger Bean. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Okay, goodbye, prick. Nobody likes you. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there before anything else happens. So, great episode. We've had two Pokemon evolve, which is always a good thing. We caught some new Pokemon. We saw some terrifying ones. We almost, almost battled a dual blade that is way too overleveled, which to the point where I was terrified. And overall, good episode. I just love exploring the wild areas. It's a really cool concept and something that I really should be doing on my off time. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you're enjoying the videos as much as I am enjoying this game. If you have any tips, advice, or recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to talk more about the Pokemon games, the Pokemon anime, or if you have any name suggestions for my Pokemon, also leave them in the comments below. So with that said, this has been Flurry Destiny. And I'll see you on the next episode of Pokemon Sword. Goodbye! Seriously though, man, I was not expecting that Duo Blade to be freaking level 56. That- <laughs> I didn't even know that could happen. That- I didn't know there's gonna be overleveled Pokemon in this game. That was a very terrifying experience. Almost as terrifying as that freaking water bug, man. The water spider. Ugh. Oh man, spiders.